Hi, and thanks for choosing Purple Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can reset your Ender Dragon fight. This is not the normal method. The normal method makes you place down end crystals on the end portal and it will respawn the dragon and all of the towers. However, you do not get an Ender Dragon egg from that. However, with this, you will get a new Ender Dragon and also a new Dragon Egg. Anyway, there's a few things we have to do before we start. So assuming you've already beaten the dragon, you do need to go into creative. Obviously, if you are doing SMP, you might not want to, but you do have to go into creative to do this. You will need to break these portal blocks, so creative is really required. So first of all, you just want to break all of these portal blocks, make sure you don't stand in it. Just go ahead and break them. You then want to, well, if you've already taken the dragon egg, it doesn't matter. But if you haven't taken the dragon egg, you can just break that. And then you also want to find the gateway. So as you can see, I have found the gateway just over here. And we also want to go ahead and break that. But anyway, after you've done all of that, we can go ahead and stop the server. Then we want to go to our server, as you can see it's right here. You then want to click stop. Alright, so our server is now offline. Now what you want to do is you want to go to file manager on the left. And then you want to scroll down to the world folder. You want to click the checkbox on the left and then click download. This will start downloading the world file. Now while this has started downloading, we need to go ahead and download something. Now I'll leave a link to this in the description, but it is NBT Explorer. Once you are on this page, you need to click on the NBT Explorer 2.8.0, or it could be more updated by the time you get to it, but for me it's 2.8.0, .msi. Make sure you do the .msi one, as that's the one I recommend. You can click it, and it will start downloading. As you can see, I can pick where I wanted to save it, I'll just save it there, and download complete. So now if I run it, as you can see it has brought me the setup wizard, which we can click next. We want to accept the terms, click next. We don't want to click next again, but you can choose where you want to download this. I'll just download it on my C drive, that's fine by me. You can then click next again and install. This will be a black screen for you, but it's basically asking, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? You want to click yes. And as you can see, it is completed. We don't want to check the box next to launch and click finish. So as you can see, the zip file has finished downloading. And now we're going to extract the zip file. So I am using WinRAR for this, so I can just right click and click extract here. And as you see, it has extracted a world file. Alright, so we've now opened NBT Explorer. And as you can see, this world isn't actually in there. That's because this is just our single player worlds in this list. So we need to go to file, open folder, and then find where it's downloaded. So mine is in this PC, and then downloads. And as you can see, world. We can then click world and click OK. And there we go, it's opened a brand new menu. Right, so the first place you want to go is in the level.dat, which you can click the plus to open. Then you want to go to data, so click the plus. And as you can see, there's quite a few things in here. Then we can just go ahead and delete the dragon fight. So you can select it and then click the red X at the top. As you can see, we've now deleted it. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can go ahead and go to file and save. And now we want to go back to our file manager. We then want to select the world folder again and click delete. It will ask you if you want to delete it, which you just click delete. Okay, so now that I've deleted the folder, we can go to upload folder, go to your downloads or wherever it's saved to, and select the folder. You can then click upload. It will ask you if you want to upload it, which you just click upload. This is going to take a while as it is quite a lot of files. So we give it around five minutes. Okay, so the upload has completed, and as you can see, we now have another world folder. So now we can click back, and we can start our server. Now do note that this just respawns the Ender Dragon. If you do want to reset the end, we do have a video on this, and I'll leave it in the cards, and also in the description below. Alright, so our server is now loaded, and as you can see, we now have an Ender Dragon flying about. As I said, this does not reset your end, just the dragon. Alright, so I've given myself strength, and there we go, we have just one hit the end dragon, and then there we go. As you could see, it didn't reset the end towers, as you will need to reset your end for that. And there we go, as you can see a brand new gateway has opened, and also the portal has reset, also with a brand new dragon egg. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and it's really, really simple to do. And you can do this over and over again. 
the portal is fully working and everything like that as you see we can jump through and all the credits run and there we go we're back in the main world but anyway thank you so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy definitely leave a like and also subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time